love this time of the year. I found this graffiti on this old Soviet building and it shows a family and it's written that this whole family has been working on the Kalashnikov gun factory uh, for 50 years. So you can see several generations in this family and they've all been factory workers. Yeah, the gun factory in Nizhevsk is probably the most important thing because the city was built around the gun factory. And there you can see a typical Soviet yard. Let's take a look. And there is another cute graffiti. I don't know why it's here, but why not? And this is a playground. Very tiny but cozy and this thing is really strange but in Russia I don't know why people do that but they decorate uh, the entrances to many houses with old tires you know they make like these vases for flowers and they paint them I don't know why they do this because I don't think it's super pretty but it's just how it is. You know, I would call this yard the Babushka Kingdom because usually you can see a lot of elderly people here sitting on benches in the afternoon and just discussing everything. I just like the Russian cities because it's such a mix of different cultures and religions. Black boy joy, she wanna see the forms like I wanna see her form. Tell me what you fought, yeah. Hey, you pay me what I'm owed, yeah. 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 And now we're approaching the presidential palace. It's the place where the head of our republic lives. No, he doesn't live there, probably. <laughs> I mean, he works there. Look at this. This is the presidential palace coffee shop in the town. And actually it's quite popular all over Russia. I know that some people even order their coffee beans online. So I'm gonna go there now and get something to drink. Now I have my coffee and I'm very happy. We're gonna head to the main square of and I will show you some things that you can find around there. So let's go. This is the main street of Ozhevsk. It's called Pushkinskaya. It's named after Alexander Pushkin, who is the famous Russian poet. And you can find a street with its name in any city in Russia. Just like Lenina Street or Karl Marx's street or Sovetka Street. So this is the big street. Now we're gonna cross it. This is the coat of arms of the Udmurt Republic. And there is this swan. She's from the Udmurt myths. The first thing that you see when you go to the main square of Zhevsk is this KFC restaurant and for some reason KFCs are more popular than in Ajevs than McDonald's. There are so many KFC restaurants here. I don't know why, but it's a thing. You know the main square of Ajevs was renovated a couple of years ago and now it looks so much better than it used to. And now you can see every day and every night a lot of people here and a lot of young people. And in general, this place has become so much more lively. So I'm happy that, you know, my city is developing and the government is investing money into this uh, public places. So I think that's really cool. And here on the main square, you can find this legendary theater of opera and ballet it's 
So here on the main square you can see the central shopping center and it's from Soviet times. I remember when I was a kid it was the main shopping center in Zhevsk. Nowadays of course it's probably the worst one but because of its location it's still kind of popular. You know they haven't renovated it so you can see the original Soviet design. I mean people still go here and there are some shops but yeah it's not the place where I would go shopping and here is the concert hall also on the main square it used to be a cinema but now the cinema is closed and there are some concerts and events that take place in that building and again I like the combination of the Soviet architecture with the modern design in the background you can see the big pond well actually you can't really see it but we're gonna go there soon and here are some pretty yellow trees I love them yeah it feels so interesting to walk around this place because you know I have so many childhood memories about it when I was at school with my friends we used to go to this cinema but now it's not a cinema anymore but still even though it's not probably the best city on the planet but for me yeah i've spent some really good time here so no regrets now we're next to the legendary kalashnikov museum and some people really don't like the architecture of this building and they think that it looks like an ugly shopping center I've been here once and it's a cool place where you can learn about the history of Izhev's guns and Kalashnikov's biography and you can shoot AK-47 and some different guns right next to the museum there is the famous Izhev's cathedral and there are some old <laughs> wooden buildings in the background so Izhevsk is the city of contrast, as you can see. next to one of the main cathedrals of Zhevsk. It was built here not that long ago. Actually, it's an old cathedral, but after the revolution it was destroyed, like many cathedrals, uh, you know, all over Russia. It was destroyed by the communists. Not that long ago they decided to rebuild it here. And it's a pretty cathedral, I think, because it's situated on the hill and it looks really pretty. The interesting thing for me about this place is that my dad, who is an architect, he took part in the renovation process and he made a project for this area around the cathedral. I will try to go inside the cathedral and film. Let's see if we can do that. We've come to a sculpture of a famous man in Zhevsk who created Izh motorcycles. Here is the motorcycle and you can find out more about it in my 
video uh, that I made on a victory day and I went to a motorcycles exhibition you can check it out so now I'm walking towards the main amusement park here in Zhezk where I used to spend a lot of time when I was a kid and it was my favorite spot ever but before that I think I will have to stop in another cafe because my phone is dying you know I like this combination of architecture here it's the classical style but with a Soviet touch kind of looks like ancient Greece but if you look closely you can see some here you can see some factory workers and there is the Soviet star and some athletes or something and next to it there is this amusement park where we are gonna go to and the Soviet factory Here are some old buildings uh, from the times where the city was built and in the background there are Soviet buildings embankment there are different sculptures behind me you can see a moose it's made of parts of cars and maybe motorcycles so it's the symbol of the industrial side of the but also you know that here in the Udmurt Republic there are a lot of moose um, I just want to show you some more sculptures and I know that along the embankment there are some cool graffitis and I will show you them as well yeah it's getting cold here and it's kind of chilly because of uh, the wind from the pond and here they have some rusty sculptures this is the piano piano with a portrait of Tchaikovsky who was born not far from Zhevsk so this is the culture of the Zhevsk. Even though it is kind of depressing sometimes to walk around the Zhevsk, at the same time I find it kind of romantic. I don't know, it's some sort of industrial romanticism. It kind of looks ugly, but at the same time attractive in a way. I don't know, it's, it's unique. What do you think? Do you think it's ugly or beautiful? It's just the aesthetic of a big city. I guess you can find this industrial part in any big city, but Izhevsk is just, you know, this industrial part and that's it. That's all that you can find in Izhevsk, but they're trying to make it beautiful, but still you can see all these like pipes and factories. Mass and it's a rare flower that you can find in the Udmurt Republic. I feel 
feels strange here, you know? It's an interesting place, but I guess I wouldn't like to live in Ushask forever. It's just right now this, I guess, period of my life where I need to stay here. I've been here for a little more than a year, you know? Um, it's all because of the pandemic and some personal things. Uh, that's why I'm staying here, but I had lived in St. Petersburg for eight years before and I'm used to different types of places, but this time, you know, when I'm staying here, I'm opening Izhevsk and the Udmurt Republic for myself one more time. And, you know, this summer I've traveled around Izhevsk and I've met some Udmurt people and I've met, made some videos about this. And it's pretty interesting, but I wouldn't like to stay here permanently. And I hope that soon I will move out. I guess you do understand me and why I think so. Probably, I don't know, let me know what you think. Would you like to live in a place like Zhevsk? I think it's a nice place to, you know, stay for a while and explore something new, but not to live forever. Yeah, what do you think? Just in the city center next to modern buildings like this, where flats are kind of expensive for Zhevsk. You can find these ones, you know, the falling apart wooden houses. I don't know how people live there. And uh, someone told me that some of these houses don't even have water inside. So yeah, that's kind of interesting. So I guess that's all for today. Thank you so much for being here with me and joining me on this walk around Izhevsk, a tiny city in Russia. Well, it's actually not so tiny, but for Russia it's considered to be a small city. I hope that you liked this video and you enjoyed exploring the streets of the city center with me. Let me know if you want me to film some more videos like this because, you know, Izhevsk is quite big and there are different sides of the city and you can see the central part but you can also see the residential area where people live so if you want me to show some more places in the city let me know and i'll do that for you i hope that you have a great day thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel and special thanks to my patreon supporters you are the best have a great day bye